It's Thursday, August 23rd. I'm Wayne Moore. This is Evening Update. At the top of the news, as smoke continues to hover over the Okanagan, there's one part of the province with crisp, clean air, Vancouver Island. Large portions of the island were showing a low air quality risk Thursday, a far cry from the 10 plus or very high risk on Wednesday. The air quality risk in the Okanagan and Kamloops regions remains high to very high. Those conditions expected to continue through Friday. The lingering smoke has prompted the cancellation of another major Kelowna event this weekend. The Kelowna Dragon Boat Festival has been cancelled. It's the second major sporting event cancelled in Kelowna because of the smoke. Last weekend's Apple Triathlon was also scrapped. Smoke has also forced postponement of Canada West soccer games in both Kamloops and Kelowna. Games scheduled for Saturday have now been tentatively rescheduled for Sunday. And the Downtown Vernon Association has cancelled Thursday's Civic Sounds concert again due to the smoke. Good news on the fire front in the Similkameen. Two fires burning in that region did not show any growth overnight. The old Tom Creek fire, about seven kilometers west of Alala, remains at an estimated 527 hectares. The nearby Cool Creek fire, burning about 20 kilometers northeast of Eastgate, is at 6,900 hectares. Firefighters were concerned that gusty winds could have fanned those flames. A 25-year-old man is in custody after he barricaded himself inside a home on Royal Avenue in Kamloops for several hours on Wednesday. People living around the home were evacuated as a precaution. Police were successful in calling out several occupants of the home, including the person who was allegedly being held against their will. However, one male did remain inside the residence. He eventually was taken into custody shortly after 11 p.m. About 170 residents of Fernbray Manor were evacuated Wednesday morning. Police say the evacuation was undertaken after someone called a threat into the retirement home. Police found nothing suspicious at the home. People were allowed to go back inside. A person of interest was apprehended at the scene and one resident did require medical treatment. Saying we need to take our city back from drug dealers and petty criminals, entrepreneur Jason Cox has confirmed that he's running for mayor of Penticton. Cox, backed by local business supporters, says public safety and crime are the top issues facing the city. It's not everyone who can claim they invented a new language. Christine Schreier, who's a linguistic anthropologist at UBC Okanagan, is one of those who can. She was the brains behind the language spoken in the recently released movie Alpha. That movie is set 20,000 years ago. Schreier, no stranger to Hollywood, she developed the Krypton language for the Man of Steel movie that came out in 2013 and also the language for last year's Power Rangers movie. It's called Sirens for Life and they need your help. Several first responders gathered at Kelowna's blood donor clinic to give blood and remind people of the importance of giving the gift of life. Canadian Blood Services is now challenging residents to thank first responders for their courageous service by donating themselves. Federal opposition leader Andrew Scheer has lashed out at MP Maxime Bernier after he announced he was leaving the Conservative Party. Scheer says Bernier chose to abandon the fight against the Trudeau Liberals, calling it a power-hungry move. Bernier, who narrowly lost the leadership race to Scheer a year ago, said he's stepping down because the party is intellectually and morally corrupt and beyond reform. Looking for a sweet, mouth-watering treat? You might want to head to Lumbee in September. Some of the best butter tart bakers will converge on the North Okanagan community in just three weeks. It's the fourth annual Butter Tart Festival. Okanagan weather, haze and smoke expected to remain with us for the next 24 hours before rain makes its way into the Okanagan. Showers expected to begin sometime on Friday and linger through Monday. Coming up tonight and tomorrow, we'll tell you the story about a road rage incident perpetrated against a 17-year-old. And it's Rib Fest weekend in Kelowna. 
For details on these and the rest of the day's news, keep it here at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I am Wayne Moore.